of guy that usually when I make up my mind to do something, I do it. Whether it's drinking a beer, moving to the Philippines, or shaving my head. And sometimes it's not always the right decision, but we learn through our mistakes. In any case, getting back to the decision that we made to move to the Philippines in 2012. We moved there in 2013. We spent four years there, did some traveling. Um, it wasn't until we actually got to Guam that uh, concerns about health really became a hot topic. I've had back surgery since I've been here, and uh, seeing how some friends of ours and other expats have fared with the uh, poor Philippine health system. I lost a good friend uh, last April, COVID related, I don't think so. He just died of a heart attack. Um, but he was, uh, this is my personal feeling, I don't know this to be true, but knowing him the way I did, I knew he was pretty stressed out about a lot of things in the Philippines. The noise, the smoke, the pollution, neighbor encroachment, and then the lockdown. Uh, it just compounded his stress levels, led to a heart attack. Again, my personal feelings. But if he had been here in Guam or on the mainland in the United States or anywhere in the West, for all that goes, he could still be alive today. Hard to say. We hear the same things about the uh, medical treatment that many expats get in the uh, Philippine healthcare system. Now, if you're around Cebu or Manila, where they've got really good healthcare, you shouldn't have a problem as long as you can get to the hospital in time. But if you're in the uh, farther outreaches of the province where all you might have is a local clinic. Um, yes, my personal feelings are I've been to some of these clinics and my blood pressure has never been read better. But in any case, uh, if you're out in the province and you need medicine or need emergency medical care, good luck. And I think because of this pandemic, this whole health care issue has come more into focus with many expats. So, again, back to the question whether uh, I think moving to the Philippines was a good idea. Yes, I do. For different reasons, many different reasons. First off, we felt like we had to get out of the States. Um, it was just after the 2008 market crash, real estate market crash. I was working real estate. Um, stress levels were way up and we had the opportunity to get out so we did. Second reason, Terry's family. We've lived in the, uh, we've lived in the United States for 27 years. And we've been around my family all that time. Sort of. She has seen her mother maybe three times in that 27 years. So this was an opportunity to get her home. Going the sun here. This was an opportunity to get her home, spend some time with her mother and her family. And as good will would have it, she got to spend four years of her mother's life. The last four years of her mother's life with her, actually three years. So, that worked out good. The other benefit was uh, just to be able to relax, chill out, take life slow for change. Okay, are you? I said you're not walking very fast. I'm not walking very fast? You're too fast for me. See ya. She can finish her walk.
fires for shade. Yes, we are still trying to, well, we're still waiting for that opportunity to get back to the Philippines where we can spend some time with family, let's work on the house, do some things, meet with some friends. But then it'll be back to Guam where we've pretty much settled into a rather comfortable lifestyle here. Guam has everything we need. Um, it's close to the Philippines. It has the medical care we need. And because I just reached Medicare age uh, last year, uh, I'm having to pay for Medicare now. So there's no sense being in the Philippines. I've have to pay for Medicare, which I can't use there. I'm retired military, so I've got Naval Hospital. But um, to give up the freebies that I have here versus having to shell out a lot of money possibly in the Philippines for emergency care. It's just a, uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a no-brainer decision for me. Even in the park, we got face masks. that we thoroughly enjoy. Clean air, no pollution. And people here speak English. <laughs> Before this pandemic, hardly anybody used this park. Well, some people did. But now I think people have learned that vitamin D and healthy exercise is of vital importance. We've been on Guam now for about three and a half years. We've been back several times, but the longer we stay here, and the more we observe the Philippines from afar, the, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, like, I, I don't want to say the happier we are to be here. I'm just saying it feels better to be here than there.